Take a look at this. What do you see? If you said a couple of ducks, then you aren't alone. In fact, the majority of people shown images like this will recall animals far more often than they would plants and would often fail to acknowledge their presence altogether. Vitally important pieces of the ecological puzzle are going completely unnoticed to the human eye. What is going on here? This is part of a bigger problem, a problem we're all involved with. The problem of plant blindness. What is plant blindness? Plant blindness is loosely defined as the inability to see or notice plants in one's own environment. This leads to three knock-on effects. Number one, we fail to recognise the importance of plants in human affairs. Number two, we fail to appreciate the unique biological features of plants. And number three, we rank plants as inferior to animals, leading to the conclusion that they are unworthy of human consideration. But what does any of this actually mean? Well, it means all of us are guilty to some extent of failing to notice the plants surrounding us in our daily lives, overlooking the ones we see as a mere backdrop to animal life. In fact, only about 15% of the pages of secondary school biology textbooks are devoted to plants. The public just don't see why plants are important. This has huge implications, seriously limiting plant conservation efforts. Take the United States, for example. Plants account for 57% of the Federal Endangered Species list, but plant conservation receives less than 3.86% of the Federal Endangered Species expenditure. In an age of climate change, coral bleaching and deforestation, one in which extinction threatens one in eight plant species, we cannot afford to ignore this issue. Most of us don't understand plants. A failure to understand means a likelihood to neglect. And how can we neglect something that truly influences our lives more than you might think. To help you understand, let me tell you a story. This morning you woke up in your cotton sheets, brushed your teeth with mint toothpaste, had a shower with fragrant shower gel, went to the toilet. Plants, you go outside, you walk into town, you go to your favorite coffee shop, you have a cup of coffee. Don't like coffee? Have a cup of tea. More plants. You pay with paper money. You eat some plants for lunch. You eat some plants for dinner. You read a book made of paper, plants. We put plants in pots to make our porches look pretty. We put plants in our parks to make our places look pretty. We put plants in our people to make our people look pretty. I guess what I'm trying to say is that all these things we take for granted in our lives, all these things that seem like mundane material objects, most of them, have come from plants. And plants are more important to our survival than we can even comprehend. They clean our air, removing greenhouse gases like CO2. Plants provide us with shelter. They produce our oxygen. Plants literally keep us alive. And that's not surprising. Plants are everywhere. I mean literally everywhere. We occupy the same areas, breathe the same air. We're made of the same stuff. They're more like us than you might think. But if we're surrounded by plants daily, if we're so clearly dependent on them for survival, why are we so blind to them? Scientists have speculated that our bias towards animals is hardwired into our brains. Early human communities would need to monitor animals more readily as potential threats and food sources. Some say it's because plants don't move, that they all grow close together and are of similar colours. Either way, whilst our bias away from plants towards animals may be a cognitive process, Research has shown that the way we perceive plants is a cultural one. This means it can change. We are disconnected from nature, built concrete buildings to cover us, walls and windows to hide behind. We are tearing the world apart to find things that give us power, make some of us rich and some even richer. We're so caught up in the world we've created that we're neglecting the one which created us. Now more than ever, our inability to recognize plants in our natural environment might actually be dangerous. It's time to free ourselves from our ancestral tendencies so as not to be held back by them. Now that we've got an understanding of what plant blindness might be and where it came from, what can we do to fight it? Confronting plant blindness will take time. A consorted effort between societies to promote plants in education is the only way future generations will be able to overcome this issue. But there are things you can do today. Grow some plants yourself. Encourage children to do the same. Read books on plants. Stop looking at your phone. See the world through your own eyes. 
Do things that benefit the environment. Recycle. Put your waste in the waste bin. Take the bike to work. By watching this video, you've already started tackling the problem. By understanding, you're rejecting neglect. Next time you're walking down the street, notice the plants you pass by. Think about all that plants do for you and what you can do for them. Tell your friends, sow the seeds of revolution, but most importantly, live with eyes open. Thanks for watching.